when was the last time you decided to craft with a bicycle tire? <laughs> I didn't think so. Well, I'm going to show you just how to do it. I love to go bicycling and my fiance, Scott, he loves to cycle too. So this is where that idea came from. And I decided I needed a t-shirt that really said that I like to ride bikes. So I did this one. It says girls love dirt too. Isn't that fun? I love how it just has the two stripes of bicycle tires across it and it's all ready to roll. Now, I've got another one here that says, let's ride. Isn't that fun? Let's ride. Now, you could do this with anything that has tread. You could do it with your car. You could do it with your bicycle tires. And you could even do it with tennis shoes. Let me show you the steps that you need to go through to do this shirt. First, you need to uh, wash your shirt, and then what I've done is just place some newspaper on the inside, and I put little clips on the top just to anchor it to the shirt. And this way, I can move it around while it's wet, and I won't get wet on anything else. The next step is to find some cute little rubber stamps. These are fantastic because they have the entire alphabet on them. You can find all kinds of alphabet stamps at your craft store. The next thing you need is permanent ink. Now, what you need to do next is decide what you want it to say, and I've decided to make it say, make tracks. So I've already gotten started, and the next thing I want to do is put my K on there. I've got to turn this just right, because I, remember, I'm working upside down to the camera. <laughs> so there we go, there's a K, and all I need now is an S, and it says, make tracks. Now I get to do the fun part, and that's to put the paint on my bicycle tire. My bicycle tire is all ready to go here at my uh, table, but you know what? I can do this outside too. I can just put it onto the tire and then roll right over it, and that's pretty much how I did those other two. What you need is an acrylic paint and a medium, or you can do it with a fabric paint. But I've decided to go ahead and use what I've got, and I had the acrylic paint. And I would suggest using the black. Everybody has their own creative mind about things, and you can use any color you want. I just think the black looks more like tire tracks. Now, I've got my acrylic in the plate, and I'm going to put textile medium to it. Read those directions and find out how many parts of textile medium needs to be added to your acrylic paint and then you're good to go. Make sure you get that combination right. And some of these things have to be heat set. So be sure and check out your uh, directions on your fabric paint or on your textile medium to find out whether you heat set it or not. And when you heat set something, it's usually with an iron or you can even put it in the dryer to heat set. Now, I'm gonna pull my tire up here and I promise it's not gonna hurt my tire because I'm going to take this outside later and ride on it. Now, I think I've got enough across here. And make sure you cover all of your work area with newspaper, especially if you're doing this on your mom's kitchen table. <laughs> that way you don't have tire tracks on that kitchen table too. And I think we're ready to roll. Let's place this over here. Roll it right across our shirt. Oh, let's see. Let's go this way and see what we've got. Ta-da! And you've got a great little making tracks t-shirt. 